today we have a lot to do uh we got to move some chickens get these uh, extended beds together for the garden and take care of the animals so we're gonna take you along and see what all we can get accomplished i'm hoping we can get the garden uh, situated and transplanted by the uh, by the end of today we shall see and i gotta put some stuff on the smoker that should be lasting us for the week it's at the project on the uh, job site at work we're ahead of schedule so i don't have to travel out of town this week hopefully knock on wood let's go release the top gun crew how are y'all doing y'all okay it's kind of windy today Y'all getting so big. Spartans! <laughs> Attack! <laughs> they are so loud. Let's go collect these eggs. These goose eggs are so huge. Look at them compared to a, a duck egg. Compare to it compared to a chicken egg. So you got a chicken egg, duck egg, and a goose egg. Now the thing I like about ducks is that they lay in the morning. The thing I don't like about ducks is their eggs are so nasty. So, we got one, two, three, four, and we got three more back here. See, these ducks get the memo. They know the memo. Sometimes you gotta check in here because they will hide it. I think we're gonna to have to put some, start putting the hay in with the Top Gun crew and with Kevin's crew to kind of help out with the uh, eggs even though we don't sell the duck eggs i mean we can sell them if y'all are interested uh with duck eggs uh y'all can purchase them however me and miss mrs naked garden we're the primary ones eating the duck eggs uh it's a a different taste oh look at these bad boys I knew I shouldn't have let them out. See, this is why y'all don't get let out. Cause y'all so bad. Get back over there. Get. Hey. Go. Go. Y'all know better. Hey. Where y'all supposed to be at? Get to going. Get. And no, I didn't bring the food over here. Stay over there. Go. Just bad. So the missus is a little impatient and mad at me because I was on a lot more and spent most of the day cutting the pasture because, oh, here she come. Can't say that. So what you got going here, Beck? <laughs> you said I was being impatient about something? No. What, what was that that I just heard you saying? Nothing. I said you were planting out here 
Um, what is this you get going? I, I'm expanding our garden out, and these I, it's really just squaring it off because we keep kind of like moving out and encroaching out. And I put cardboard down, and we're going to do the no-tool beds. You keep trying to take over all of my no-tool beds. Like, I put these no-tool beds in for me to do what I want it. And you put asparagus in one. You put uh, artichokes in another. Um, I did put strawberries in one. There's an empty one. Um, did you already assign something to that? So someone's being a little bit of dramatical here. Because we said from the way to the beginning, we're going to plant some asparagus and uh, some artichokes in the uh, original two little four by four beds. So somebody's trying to be dramatical about her dementia. So <laughs> no, no, ain't no dramatical about my dementia. OK, I'm being strategic about your dementia. Then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's more accurate. But you do. Are you saying you do have dementia then? Are you nicer to me when I have dementia? I'm nicer to you. If I say I have dementia. <laughs> I'm nicer to you. Then I have dementia. He's going to be nice. <laughs> so like I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted, the missus got on to me because I was cutting the grass because this is the first week this year that we haven't had any rain this week. And we're scheduled to have some rain uh, this coming up weekend, I think Thursday and Friday, so I was going to cut the grass, or I did cut the grass in the pasture, so that way uh, we could keep it, be try to keep it low. And the way it's set up now, uh, we were we had just moved uh, the chickens uh, to the paddocks with the egg layers and the um, Welsh and light Brahmas. We moved them around. And it was kind of hard when we were putting the grounded rods in. I'm thinking I'm going to try to borrow uh, one of our friend's tractors to uh, level out some of this pasture out in the back area. Uh, so that way when we do our next wave of meat birds, I think we're going to do another wave of meat birds. And definitely when we do our American breast, uh, the pasture would be a lot uh, easier to move these John Shiskova tractors around. What I'm doing here is I'm going to run a string line across here to make sure this side is straight. This bed is actually going to be a foot wider that uh, going that way than this bed right here. So I just want to make sure I uh, get this area all lined up. Good. <laughs> you got to come up with the good spacing. I would like a spacing and wide enough for this wheelbarrow to fit through here. So what I'm going to do is take the measurement of the width of wheels. We got 32 inches. So I need to go 32 inches from the edge of this brick uh, block landscape block. You can see what that looks like. So we got everything extended out. We're not gonna do the potty mix, the raised bed mix in there just yet. Uh, we transplanted a lot of stuff. What I like to do is I like to water everything in once I transplant at least for about 20 to 30 minutes uh, each day for about a week. Be good if I could do it twice a week or twice a day for a whole week to 10 days. Uh, but we're gonna get that that way it gets, that watering is gonna help 
uh, get rid of a lot of the air gaps, saturate the soil for the roots to kind of expand out, get deeper into the uh, soil. Uh, we still got some more stuff transplanted. A lot of stuff that we started from seed did not uh, make it through. Some of the stuff that we did transplant looked like uh, some pill bugs or something has been eating those. So we're going to have to replace those. Not too sure that being so late in the game that we have enough time. So we might have to go get some starts. We'll see. After a while, our neighbor uh, dropped us off some uh, yellow yellow straight neck or crooked neck squash. That's good. Uh, we rarely get to use, uh, grow squash because it's just the squash bugs. I do like zucchini as well. Get some grilled squash. Oh my God, with some onions, mushrooms, garlic. But uh, we'll do that for about a week. I'm gonna let that run for about another 20, 25 minutes. And then tomorrow we're going to show you how we're going to make our own raised bed soil. So I just got off of work. It's the next day. Uh, what we're going to do is take some of this compost that's been here for about, what, a year, year and Over a half Over a now. year. Yeah, this was supposed to be out for our orchard, but as you can see, that's not going to be the case. We're going to do about six bucket of these just to do one bed along with the uh, potty mix that we got from the big box store. They didn't have any black cow, surprisingly, uh, when we went there. Uh, so we're gonna use this other brand that has compost and uh, manure in there. And we're gonna mix it all up to fill off one of these beds and show you how we're gonna make a trellis because Mrs. Naked Gardener, you want to put your loofahs on there? Yep. So she wants to put her loofahs on there. Normally we will uh, sift this out since it's going into a garden bed. We won't be sifting this out. We won't be particular about this. So three bucket full, two. We do six buckets full. Okay. And that will give us roughly about three cubic feet. So what I did to get the measurement or let me know, I got to check for ants. Sometimes we have, we have bad ants on our pasture. So about, one bucket of this equals roughly about one cubic feet. And what I did was I did the width times the length and how much that we need, which roughly gives us a little bit over 12 cubic feet, I believe it was. And so I need, I got three bags of the potty mix, which is about six. And I'm doing three, six of these which give us six plus, I think it was three, one cubic feet of the compost manure. So we should have a little bit over this, but some of that's gonna settle down and uh, spread out. What I'm doing now is I'm going to add about one bucket of water to just to try to get it all moistened up and then we're gonna add the bag. Now we use different variations of mixes. We've used just one part uh, compost, one part peat moss, and one part of black cow. And what I mean by one part, you could take any particular container like we call this one part. You could use a cup as a one part, something that measure in equal parts. And you just mix it all up. And that will get, help you get a good quality uh, potty mix and uh, we try to use as much organic matter into our potty mix in our raised bed areas so that way we could get a good quality uh, growing medium. Products have been a bit more limited lately. Yeah like perlite, perlite and vermiculite I've noticed hasn't been readily available as it used to be when we first started off gardening and I'm not sure what the reason of that. Maybe it's because a lot of more people are gardening now due to the whole pandemic. Um, so who knows? Prices but, have like increased yeah. quite a bit this past year. Yeah, even the peat moss. The peat moss, when I used to do a lawn service 
stuff that was under 10 bucks and we just recently purchased some and it's like almost 20 bucks now well these bags of this organic matter were ten dollars um, yeah and when we first started out with uh buying this kellogg's brand uh we're used to buying the cow even the the quality has even decreased on that is like you'll see a lot of uh forestry products in here that you didn't used to see as much as a filler we so, actually did a video about that yeah we'll put that in the show notes So we got this tool and it's kind of helped these little T-post straps on there. Uh, for tractor supply, if you buy five T-posts, you can get a bundle of these. Is that why you did the bundle? Yep. Now you can plant your your flowers or whatever you want to plant up in there. Loofah. Loofahs, whatever. I want to make some loofah soap. So, as you can see, it's very easy. I, th I should have did two posts to make it more, I don't know, but it, it'll still do the trick. What do you think? Uh, I think I'll feel better with maybe two more posts at some point yeah we'll see how it does yeah we'll see how it does but we'll, what we're going to do is just do the same thing that we did over there uh, these arch trellis and how we basically did this whole bed layout uh, we did it methodically look at that I said a big word yeah you did uh, last year by pinpoint different things and trying not to have as many uh, produce in here with making it trying to make it more of a perennial herb tea medicinal bed but now that the missus has learned how to can i want more produce now uh, so that's why we increased the workload of the tomatoes and the peppers and still got some more onions because we're going to be butchering a lot of animals this year and we're going to want to be making some broth so it would be nice to have the vegetables for that broth off of our property instead of going to the store and buying the celery, the onion, the garlic, and those types of things. So if you want to see how we did that whole transition, we'll put that video off to the side and also in the description down below. Until the next video, let's grow together.